Hey everybody, it's me. I wanted to show you how I do onboarding with the new user profile setup. So the very first thing that I do when I start a new app is directly set up that user profile sheet. And usually what I do is I create a sheet in my app and I call it um, users. And then I'll have a username column, an email column, and an avatar column. And then the first thing I do is I go into the app, I enable uh, email sign-in under the privacy, and then I'll come over here, click on the avatar, and then I can configure my user sheet where I'll match the name with the name, email with email, and image with the profile image or avatar. And once that's done, whenever users sign into my app, they'll automatically be added to the sheet. All right, so then in order to set up user profiles, what I typically do is I'll enable editing for that user sheet and allow users to edit and also the conditions for when the uh, email address okay, is the signed in user. And then after that, um, I'll create some onboarding experience here. Now, no one signed into this app yet, so let me do that on the left-hand side. I'm gonna sign with Google, okay? And now here you can see that I have some onboarding experience. This tab will serve as like the user homepage or the user profile page or the user dashboard page. Uh, but before they see all of their dashboard features, I want to present them with some onboarding where they're going to get some more information. And so what I do is I'll present them with some text. This is just some rich text that I put on here, uh, along with some text input for their name, an image uploader for their avatar. And here I also need to have them choose their role. And so since this is the very first user that's signing into the app, they're going to be an admin to the app for this particular app. And so I have a choice component here that's serving as a button that will allow them to select that they are a parent. Okay. Now, each of these components have a visibility setting that will hide themselves when the user has completed the profile. And so I need to be able to have a uh, column in the data editor that will recognize when the user has completed a profile. Let me show you how I do that. So in my data column here, I have an if then, and I usually call it has profile. So I create a new if then. And then what I do is I select all of the fields that I want my users to fill out. And I'll mark those as being false if they are empty. So I want them to have a name, I want them to have an avatar, I want them to have a role, and if each of those columns are empty, then it's gonna result in false. Okay? Otherwise, it'll result in true. That yes, they have a profile, it's true. Or no, they don't have a profile, false. So right now you can see that this user is false because these items have not been selected yet. And so then in the visibility settings here, each of these components have a feature set where uh, has profile is false. So it'll only show in that case. Now, since this is um, the initial user, and I want to only show these items when the initial user signs into the app, I have it also set for user count equaling one. And I created a rollup column that um, and so right now, users equals one. There's only one person signed in at the moment. And so uh, they are seeing these components. Okay. So once an additional user signs into the app, this information will uh, disappear. All right. So let's get started. So once I start filling in this information here, you'll be able to see that this if then will change to true. And I already see that my sheet is being, being filled in here. And the role will be parent. All right, so now that these things have been completed in the app, you see that has profile now becomes true. So now I have a different set of components that are available, and these have different visibility settings. So now I have a message that's saying, nice, let's add a child to your account. So that message here is showing when has profile is equal to true, and when user count still equals one. And so now I have a button that shows that I can add a new helper. Again, has profile is true, and um, that will be the, where the role is parent. Because I don't want children adding new helpers. I only want parents adding new helpers. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the new helper. And again, I have some visibility conditions set to this form. 
So I have some rich text with, let's add a child to your account. Okay. Again, that's where user account only equals one and the role is not a child. Okay. And same thing with this text here. All right. And so here I'm going to add role as child. Okay. And again, some visibility conditions. So where, uh, let's see, that's this rich text here. And this is where user account is equal to one and role is child. So I selected child from that button here. And now I'm enter entering information for the child. And this is going to fill out that user sheet as well. So I can add a child here. Let's do Nora. And I'm going to check an avatar for her. And I would choose an email address that she would use to sign. I'm going to put something bogus for right now at email.com. Okay. And then submit. And so now this user has been added. Okay. Uh, you'll see now the form allows me to change both a parent and a child. I can add both of those two, and all that rich text went away because it knows now that I know how to use the app, right? And so now I have the ability to add parents and children accounts, right? So I have this little confirmation message saying, well done, feel free to add parents or children to this app using the button below. And then I also want to be able to have the user hide this text. So I have this little got it column, and that is just a checkbox over here where when they check it, that got it will check. And so that got it will only show up when got it is not true, where the role is the parent, and where user count equals two, one and two. So there's two ways for this message to go away. Either I can check the box, which means got it would be true, or I could add another helper, which means that user count would equal three, and this would go away. But for now, I want to check the box, got it, the message goes away. And now my onboarding experience is complete. All right, so just using some smoke and mirrors and visibility settings, you can create some nice, interesting onboarding. Hope this video has helped you with your app. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.